Three true haunted Chuck E. Cheese scary stories. What is up you guys? So I know all of you or most of you have been to Chuck E. Cheese. And I know when you think of Chuck E. Cheese, you think of a fun time. You think of the arcades, the greasy cardboard pizza, and of course the tickets when you get to exchange them for prizes. An overall fun time. But today we discovered the dark side of Chuck E. Cheese. And I myself used to go here all the time for birthday parties, my nephew's birthday parties as a child and all that but i don't know maybe after watching this i will never return there let me know if you would or not go back after watching this video by arcade craniacs oh story one there was once a chuck e cheese in my town it was always fun to pass by and see the kids the parents and the parties but one day it was closed oh never to be reopened all because of why me. is that me and my best friend Ralph loved Chuck E. Cheese with all of our hearts. Every Wednesday, our parents would generously give us 10 bucks of tokens so we could go play by ourselves hey, after tokens. school. We were in sixth grade now. Schoolmates would make fun of us for our obsession, but we didn't care. Dude, that was a we fun place. We were grateful place. to get our tokens each week. Today was different though. We had hatched a genius plan. I had told my mom I was sleeping at Ralph's, and Ralph had told his mom he was sleeping over at my Don't house. Don't tell me they're gonna sleep at Chuck E. Cheese. We were on a mission to stay overnight at Chuck E. Cheese. Why would you do such a thing? We chose the ball pit as our hiding spot. Oh no. So when it was about five minutes to closing, we each made sure no one was looking and then ducked our heads beneath the multi-colored balls. Dude, these guys are the savages. The announcement that they were closing came, then the lights turned off one by one. We breathed as quietly as possible and tried to stifle our giggles about how we were actually getting away with this. The employees cleaned up for what seemed like an eternity, but after 20 minutes had gone by since we had heard any voices or the door close, we erupted out of the ball pit with such force and excitement that the balls flew over the net and across the room. Luke, we did it! Ralph screamed they in absolute to stay joy. Inside the ball pit. All of the lights were off except for the stage, where we could clearly see Munch's make-believe band looking excited as ever. Oh, we walked creepy, around man. the room filled with dark screens, wondering what to do next. Everything seemed normal at first, until it wasn't. I had been staring at Helen up on the stage for just a moment when I that turned so around scary. and Ralph was nowhere to be found. Ralph! I called out. What happened to him? No answer. He, he, he must have gone to the bathroom. I thought to myself. I waited five long minutes. The more I stared at Chucky, the more I saw his grin widen. Oh my. <laughs> I have to be imagining this. I thought. My heart began racing. Ralph! I called out as I walked backwards toward the bathroom. Suddenly, not wanting to take my eyes off Chucky, to my horror, there was no answer again. So Ralph just disappeared? I finally let my eyes slip away from Chuck. As I ran into the boys room hoping to see Ralph, I looked under each stall, nothing. I began Where could he have gone? And I ran back into the dimly lit room. My heart fell to the floor as I noticed something missing. All of the animatronics were up there, except Chucky. Ooh. Ralph! I screamed out at the top of my lungs now, absolutely terrified. Suddenly, I heard a soft cry coming out of the ball pit. Oh, there was no, Ralph's the hand, ball pit. desperately reaching out of the pit as if he was drowning. But before I could reach him, he was pulled down underneath completely. Where it he had shrieked to be Chucky, like right? I've never heard anyone shriek before. Ralph! I yelled, ready to jump in, but it was too late. Slowly, a substance began leaking from the pit and overflowing all over the balls. It was Subst blood. Oh. Out of my peripheral vision, I saw Chuck. He was smiling by the. Oh my God! That is. That thing is so scary. Like his hands. He raised his hand up and waved at me. <laughs> Are you having fun, Luke? <laughs> he no. said with a huge laugh. 
With my adrenaline taking hold of me, I sprinted for the door, knowing it was locked and I knew I needed something to break the glass. <laughs> Dude, you're Come trapped on. in there, man. I just want to play. I heard Chuck's voice say as he traveled closer. Thankfully, I saw a chair that had been placed near the door, left by a night shift employee. I grabbed it, and I hit the glass as hard as possible. It cracked, but it didn't break. Oh. Only causing an alarm to go off. Ah! I screamed out of frustration. I hit it two more times before it broke. Without hesitation, I leaped out the hole, cutting my arms and legs as I did. I was halfway through the parking lot before I looked back. Chuck stood there oh, man. looking through the window and waved one last farewell with the hand. But not his hand. With Ross's hand. Wow, guys. That was truly horrific. If you guys made it through that story, comment down below and let us know how many stories you can make it through. This oh, next man, one I don't is know. even worse that than the first last. Story. Oh, so try okay. not to have a panic attack. Oh man, so she said this is about to be worse Chuck than the e. first Cheese one. Pizza. It holds a nostalgic place in many of our hearts. It used to do the same for me. But what if I told you pizza I snacking. had an experience with the pizza that was so disgusting and traumatic it would make you never want a slice again. What could have happened with the pizza? I went on my cousin's birthday. She was turning eight, so she was bright-eyed and excited. Meanwhile, I wasn't looking forward to the screaming kids and the stinky feet smell. Ugh. But at least I got stinky free pizza feet. out of it. I sat down with my mom as we waited for the server to bring the pie to us. It was a special new type of pizza I'd never heard of. New pizza. It had been added to the menu just today, I guess. It was called the Lori Special. Oh, they that is not good. They told us that it was a limited time special and it had extra cheese, sauce, and delicious mystery toppings. I mean, it sounds At juicy. At the time, the element of mystery was exciting and we had our mouths watering. I hope it's extra sausage, I said to my mom excitedly. Come on, bacon would be better, she said playfully. Oh, After bacon. about 20 minutes, the first strange thing happened. Instead of a regular employee coming to give us the pizza, Chucky came out. All the kids ran up to him excitedly, expecting to be greeted with a dance or a ticket splash. Instead, he ignored them and silently, without a word, plopped the pizza in front of us. What a jerk. My mother kindly said thank you to him to break the awkward silence, but he still remained silent staring at us oh, man. with his big eyes until he abruptly ran back to the kitchen. He ran we were back. puzzled, what? but hungry enough to ignore the weird encounter and the strange smell coming from the pizza, which was covered in pepperoni, sausage, bacon, and one last meat I couldn't identify. Lori. I picked up a piece and hesitantly took a bite. I instantly felt like vomiting. Ugh. The sauce tasted like pennies and the cheese tasted like Ew, it was expired. Like pennies. But worst of all, I had bitten into a hard chunk of the mystery meat. I spat the meat that chunks to be out onto meat. my plate, only to be mortified by what I saw. A human oh. fingertip. My mother screamed at the top of her lungs. Dude, that I is so disgusting. The, police. the whole restaurant erupted in a confused panic. The manager came out confused and distraught and helped my mom dial the police. It was all a blur. All I could think about was the Chucky and how he stared at us as I sunk my teeth into the flesh. Oh, that is so the nasty, man. The cop said a girl named Lori had gone missing about a week ago. And it all came back to me. Oh, the Lori special. special. Lori None was in was the pizza. None of this was supposed to be going on till this day. Every time I hear the name Chuck E. Cheese, you know, like hypnotizing, I man. Oh, she vomited. I know. I told you, we, we warned you guys. It is very scary. And imagine we're living this in real life. Come here, look where we're at right now. No. We're at the abandoned Chuck E. Cheese location, and it's three in the morning, and we're telling you these Why stories. Why would you go there, here. man? Okay, so we're living this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. 
completely abandoned right in front of us we could see the stage where all of the animatronics and that door is just Everything's right tore there down from in there with the lights on we have no idea why that door is open imagine being here in person you know it's just it, it gets creepy and if you thought those last two stories were scary <laughs> This oh, one, we're in for a treat. You're never gonna watch another video like this ever again. <laughs> Story number three. Oh, how much when more I was little, gonna get? I had an intense fear of Chucky from Chuck E. Cheese. A lot of kids were afraid of I Chucky. I couldn't bear looking at him for even a second on a commercial. I would run and scream, hiding under the nearest blanket. My mom would always laugh at this and tell me I forget about my fear when I grow up. But for me, it was different. It was more than just him looking creepy. Chucky came to me in every dream, every night, appearing in his animatronic form, looking sickly and hungry, with blood oh. dripping out of his mouth. Sounds like a horrible nightmare. Every night, like clockwork, he would peek his head out of my closet and slowly come towards me as I was too paralyzed with fear to move. <laughs> I sure am hungry, he'd said with his furry hand finally grasping my arm and moved it towards my mouth. Oh. And right as he was about to pierce my skin with his ugly yellow rat teeth, I'd awaken. It got to the point where I would purposely stay awake all night just so I wouldn't have to see him. I became so delusional that I began wondering if he truly was in my dreams or in reality. I was turning 12 in just a few days. I found myself being excited to open up gifts. It was something to take my mind off Chucky. My mom told me that she had a very special surprise for me on my birthday. I found myself getting excited in the next two days until finally at midnight it was my special day. At 10 a.m. I ran down the stairs ready for whatever surprise my mom might have had for me. She told me to come with her in the car uh -oh. and to cover my eyes until we got be? to my surprise. I obeyed her and squeezed my hands tightly over my face. I felt the car finally slowing down and she said, we're here, sweetie. She took him to Chuck E. Cheese. I eagerly took my hands away. And when I did, my heart stopped dead in its tracks. I was looking right at a huge Chuck E. Cheese. Oh. <laughs> the sign out in front glowed devilishly, and I screamed involuntarily. Ah! Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, honey? She said with a that laugh. That is mom? <laughs> Aren't you over your little fear? She said. But the she didn't say in her on. voice. It was someone else's voice. A she much got possessed deeper, or something. Much angrier voice. She grabbed me by my shirt collar and dragged me inside. All the employees had a horrible smiling faces that were twisting devilishly. They clapped as my mother brought me closer to Chucky animatronic. Help me! Oh, no. I screamed to no avail. At last, I was in front of the rat himself. His eyes glowed red, and his mouth opened wide with the sharp yellow teeth I had seen in my dreams. This can't be real! I cried out, but it Hopefully was too late. Hopefully, it's another nightmare. This time, when he grabbed my arm, his teeth actually met my skin. I screamed out in pain so for five not a minutes nightmare. straight until I finally died. But don't worry. These days, I'm doing just fine. I live here with a lot of other kids. All the other and all we kids. do is have fun. Actually, I think there's a new member of our family joining us today. What? I really hope so. I'll be watching from Chucky's eyes all day. Who knows? Maybe he might even be you. 
Nah, bro, I ain't going back to Chuck E. Cheese anymore. Wow. You, you made it all throughout the whole video and listened to all three scary Chuck E. Cheese stories. Yes, I'm sir. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud. You guys are very brave, man. I love that. Not gonna lie, they were Comment creepy. Comment down below, hashtag MVP, so I can know that you watched all three of the scary Chuck E. Cheese stories, man. You guys are freaking awesome. Like I said... Dude, that was frightening. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to go back to Chuck E. Cheese after watching this. I mean, you guys saw how the stories went down. And I don't know if I can trust Chuck anymore. These animatronics be having a mind of their own nowadays. Alright, you guys. Well, those were three haunted Chuck E. Cheese scary stories. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. And make sure to stick around for a part two.